I'm Dr. Pamela White. I'm a radiation oncology resident at UW Veterinary Care. Typically what's required for radiation therapy and to determine whether or not a patient is a candidate for radiation therapy um, is a CT scan or a CAT scan. Typically what we discuss is something called staging. That would include doing chest x-rays to determine if any cancer has spread to the lungs as that's one of the common places that it tends to spread. As Dr. Forrest has mentioned on her video, we have two types of radiation therapy. There's definitive or curative intent radiation therapy and palliative radiation therapy. And what determines what the patient would receive depends on what the owners would like to do and what their treatment goals are. Um, but also the tests that we run for staging and the results of those tests. So have we seen cancer spread um, or is it fairly localized? When our patients come in for their radiation treatment that day, they're assessed, make sure that their physical examination is normal and or unchanged from the day previous. Our patients are required to be under general anesthesia for their radiation treatments. They're hooked up to anesthetic monitoring equipment, which you can see are one of our monitoring units here. Um, and we have a camera which will be able to view the entire room. And this camera will transmit to uh, monitoring equipment outside of the room. Treatment time varies depending on the location of the tumor and what type of tumor we are treating. Typically, the total time that they are receiving the radiation treatment is roughly around the 15 minute up to a 30 minute time frame, um, depending on the location of the tumor and what we are trying to achieve with therapy. We use the dental or these bite blocks for patients who have head and neck tumors to make sure that our patient's head doesn't move during therapy. Patients who are or have tumors in other locations, will use these custom fit mattresses. So the air is removed from these to effectively make a custom made mold of our patients. So we can ensure that we achieve the maximum dose to the tumor with radiation, but spare the normal tissues at every single treatment. So this is a CT image, also known as a CAT scan image uh, of one of our patients. And what we are doing in this particular um, computer program is actually outlining the area of interest or our area of our tumor. Um, and on this particular patient, this is this area here. Um, and we're also outlining the areas um, that we do not want to get with radiation therapy, such as the eyes, which are located here, um, as well as the brain.